the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. The Euro season has started. That's right, football galore. You've got the European teams going head to head in good old fashioned soccer as the Americans like to call it. But what we call football that you play with your foot, Americans call American football and they don't use their foot. They use they use their hands, yeah, because obviously actually no, I no, I don't know why. I wanna know. You got football matches happening, of course, some really good ones like the Ukraine and Netherlands one, and then you've got some really dead ones like the one that we saw yesterday of you know how it is when two really good teams go head to head, it's gonna be nil nil or it's gonna be one nil. But regardless, that's not what I'm here to talk about, guys. Yeah, I'm not here to give my football analysis. I'm here to give two things that happened that I thought were were pretty awesome. Yeah, were pretty brilliant. And the first thing was you guys probably saw yesterday Ronaldo um, after he got man of the match he was sitting at the press conference and he saw a couple of bottles of coca-cola there he picked them up and he removed them and then he picked up water and said in Portuguese water i.e drink this this is better yeah and those of you that know Ronaldo he is a fitness fanatic not only did that happen but today I found out that when he did that Coca-Cola's market share price took a dive. It wasn't a couple of 10,000, 100,000, a couple of million. Mate, it was like, <laughs> it's like 4 billion. That's mental. Yeah, and people say, oh, celebrities, well, stop talking about celebrities. Mate, celebrities in this day and age do have an effect. Yeah, anybody who denies that, I mean, he's living in cuckoo land, frankly. Yeah, so Ronaldo did that. Yeah, so he did something to promote well-being physically. However, today you had Paul Pogba who did the same thing but instead of coke bottles he saw Heineken bottles there which is uh, alcohol. He picked them up and he put them to the side. So on the one hand you've got Ronaldo looking after our physical well-being and then you've got Paul Pogba. The Muslim, as Sky News made it very clear in their article as well, he's looking after our spiritual welfare. That's right yeah and both of them are important and they should go hand in hand like these bo both of these players have demonstrated yeah and both have shown amazing things like Paul Pogba has been fasting in Ramadan on the pitch Ronaldo on the other hand may not be a Muslim but he stood up for you know causes that can get people in a lot of trouble like st standing up for Syria for Palestine and also he does very good things like not drinking alcohol because alcohol destroyed his, his father and his family. He doesn't have tattoos because he likes to give blood on a regular basis. Yeah, and he has a good relationship with his son. So these are people, yeah, Paul Pogba, Cristiano Ronaldo, that have demonstrated something that goes beyond football. Yeah, and I don't want to make this video too long. But what I want to say, guys, is instill these values in yourself first and foremost, and then in your children yourselves and your children do whatever you want to do you want to be a doctor a lawyer celebrity footballer whatever but be Muslim first those of you that aren't Muslim that are confused that are on the bench look guys yeah we see there's so many options what do I do mate when you go to the shop and you see 20 different shampoos what do you do I read the label man I read the label I gotta make sure I'm getting the right thing okay well if you can read the label on shampoos to find out which one's good for you why can't you do the same yeah you're saying that the label of a shampoo is more important than a holy book pick up the Quran read it read the Quran yeah and then you'll see yeah you'll resonate with the Quran because it comes from your and my Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those of us that obviously are Muslim or even not these you know sorts of principles transcend yeah these careers and these careers are transient yeah Ronaldo knows before him there was another Ronaldo there was a Ronaldinho there was a Rivaldo there was a Roberto Carlos yeah there were all these amazing Maradona yeah Pele there were all these amazing footballers but just like we we go to work yeah or we do whatever we do on YouTube thinking yes people are gonna remember us look at the king of pop Michael Jackson do people do dhikr of him every single day? No, they don't. So you have to understand guys, this world is, is transient and we have to look after number one, which is us. And the thing that we need to look after most was demonstrated by Paul Pogba, which is our spirituality, yeah? Our, our inner self, that's something that needs the most work. And it cannot just be tossed aside 
by saying, oh, there's so many religions or there's so many sects. <laughs> yeah, some Muslims, oh, there's so many sects. So confusing. I'm sorry, but eight, over 85% of the religion has no difference of opinion. Every sect agrees that you need to pray. Zakat, Psalm, Hajj, Umrah, looking after parents, looking after the poor, not using bad words, not drinking alcohol, not eating haram foods. There's no difference of opinion. But we, our nafs inclines towards, oh yeah, there's a little bit of difference of opinion, therefore I can do whatever the fish I like. You know what I'm saying? So guys, let's bear this in mind and let's take this as a good sign, a good motivation. And let's also make dua that we get some good matches as well. Yeah, not like the match that we saw yesterday. Even though our brother Paul Pogba got man of the match, but it was an incredibly boring uh, match. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I had to switch uh, off about halfway through. I was like, this is going nowhere. It was our own goal. That was about it. Yeah, but let's leave it there. And uh, yeah, may Allah give us the tawfiq to act upon what's said and become people of action, guys. Yeah, and make our children children of action also that even if they're a celebrity they do not lose sight of their identity their islamic identity like paul pogba yeah and also you believe in something yeah ronaldo could say oh let people do whatever i can do whatever no he has a concern for other people yeah i don't want to be promoting coca-cola let's leave it there guys until next time assalamu alaikum